So I'm going to read a poem from my third book, Life Souls Volume 1. And this poem is Windy Sky Storms. It's a sound brushing the ground, a sniffing hound has found branches and leaves wait like the trees often pray. To us not much do they say, standing there night and day. On your head does the wind play, not long will it stay, almost in dismay. The sound may howl, the frightened owl and the wolf with its scowl. It's destined somewhere, have I sinned. Relinquishing kin, Allah is fair with words in the white wind. Allah shows us many signs, tonight I'm listening to the wind. It's winter and I feel his presence as the wind howls. Just turning the page, killing and telling the green trees to slumber. The wind, when it's strong and the chaotic, can be scary. And we must seek the message and pray for forgiveness, for Allah may be angry at humanity. Then may come at any moment because we don't know its exact date. Muhammad, peace be upon him, conveyed to us that the end of earth is extremely near. The wind in the spring and the summer seasons had to pollinate also cool the earth and its creatures. Seas float in the wind to reach random and destined locations. The wind brings fresh air to the places that may be polluted from vast distances or places higher up in the air. Higher up in the air, very thin, unbreathable. The wind is motion moving and it's a wonderful creation of Allah that shouldn't be feared too much, but it can be formidable when we send.